Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, let's talk about my field day challenge for 2020. Stick around and we'll get right to it. So this year, things have been a bit different uh, for me. Uh, my work schedule has been, uh, well, off schedule, basically, because of the human malware. Uh, so honestly, I didn't even uh, know for sure that I was gonna get to participate in field day. So I really haven't done anything this go around to, uh, or this year to prepare for that. And in years past, I've always had some sort of a challenge uh, that I place upon myself. So uh, one of my first field days, uh, the challenge was to get a go box put together. I believe the year after that, it was uh, to run field day off of batteries and a solar panel. Uh, and I've gone through various uh, different challenges over the years. Last year, I wanted to live out of the bag that I put together for uh, basically a 24 hour period. Well, this year I hadn't really come up with a challenge uh, and normally the week leading up to field day, I'm off work. This year, that wasn't the case. We've been working 14, 15 hours a day, and I have had no time to prepare for field day. So that actually got me to thinking, this could be a great challenge in and of itself. Uh, let me kind of tell you where I'm going with this. Uh, I read an article just today that came out uh, was about a ham. It was in the ARRL uh, newsletter that came out today. I'll try to leave a link to that article down in the description below. But it was a ham radio operator that had a medical emergency while he was out hiking. He was able uh, to use ham radio because there was no cell service. He got into a repeater and got some medical help coming his direction. In addition to that, there was a group of hams. Now the article doesn't go in and say how many, but there was a group of hams that got involved with providing communications kind of on the fly during this scenario. Well, that got me to thinking, how quick could I be ready to go given basically no advance warning? How quick could you gather all of your stuff? If you went right now and grabbed your HT, is the battery fully charged? Well, that was kind of uh, the challenge for this year. So here it is, it's Friday afternoon as I'm recording this, and it is five to five uh, my time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one hour and get ready for fail day. I have no idea what state my battery is in. I think I charged it after the last outing, but I'm not sure. I'm not going to take the time and charge it. If it's not charged or it's not full, we're going to put it on a solar panel as soon as we get to field day tomorrow, and we're going to run with it. Uh, where is all my stuff? I mean, I'm, I work portable quite a bit, but it's never all in one bag just sitting there ready to go. When I come back in after an outing, I pull things out. Uh, my 891 goes back on a desk. My pie goes back on a desk. Uh, you know, I, I pull things in and out of that bag on a regular basis. So not everything is in the bag. One hour, can I do it? Can I get everything I need and not be a complete failure tomorrow at field day? I don't know, but that's going to be the challenge for this year. So you guys come along while I get packed up. And uh, as a matter of fact, let's see if we can do this. Uh, maybe the camera will focus on that and you'll be able to see the time. So I'll give you a little bit of footage as I do this and we'll bring you along and then I'll show you the watch when we're done. All right guys, let's get to it.
Okay, that's it. The Jeep is packed. Now, uh, a couple of things that are not in the Jeep that I'm not going to deal with until in the morning. One is the cooler full of water and I will pick up ice on the way. Uh, because it's a dry area where we, uh, where we do field day each year, we do have to bring all of our water in. So I will prepare that in the morning. It's the same thing I would normally do on any given field day. In addition to that, I still have to get my YouTube gear together. So I do want to double check, make sure all those batteries are charged and everything is ready to go. But the radio gear is in the truck. Now, let's uh, go back to the watch. And guys, that was 30 minutes. Hopefully that focuses. 30 minutes. Now, how did I manage to pack all of that and get everything together in 30 minutes? Well, two reasons. A, I do work portable quite a bit, so I pretty much know where my gear is located. There are some additional things that I wouldn't take on a normal portable outing, such as my hammock, uh, the tree straps that go with my hammock. So a few little odds and ends like that that are specific to field day. What allowed me to work through this so quickly though and feel pretty confident in what I've got in the Jeep is the checklist that I've always put together in the past. I didn't have one for this year, but for the last five years, I've always put a checklist together and I suspect I'll come back after the fact and actually put a checklist together for this one. Uh, something else that gives me a lot of confidence should uh, I not be able to get the 891 on the air, I will have the Jeep with me and the Jeep has a full uh, radio setup. So it's got two meter, uh, it's got 440, it's got APRS, it's got HF, uh, it's got a Raspberry Pi that uh, was recently rebuilt with Build-A-Pi 3. So even if my portable setup is uh, you know, out of commission for whatever reason, I can fall back to the Jeep and I could still be in business. But I wanted to take this year and just, uh, I, I hadn't come up with a challenge, I needed one, so I thought this would be interesting. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and post this video on Saturday morning so you guys can enjoy it before field day, and I'll do a follow-up to it uh, in my, kind of my after action report video and let you guys know how it comes out. All right, we'll see you guys soon. Until then, 7-3.